Welcome to the channel. My name's Scott. If you're interested in diabetes related news, tech talk, product reviews, please go ahead and subscribe. I'm going to be coming out with new content all of the time. While the Libre 3 CGM was recently released, Abbott is already hard at work on their next generation continuous glucose monitor, a first of its kind dual monitoring system that's not only capable of monitoring glucose levels, but also a second vital parameter that could potentially save your life. So let's talk about this new continuous glucose monitor and make sure to stay tuned to the end to hear a bit more about Abbott's future plans for some additional exciting new devices. So I imagine if you're watching this video, you're already familiar with the Freestyle Libre CGM as well as other continuous glucose monitors on the market like the Dexcom and Medtronic Guardian. Continuous glucose monitors have without a doubt revolutionized the management of diabetes. These devices have allowed diabetics constant access to their glucose levels, giving us more information about how food, exercise, insulin, and other factors affect our glucose levels. And while CGMs have improved over the years, getting smaller, more accurate, more reliable, even integrating with our smartphones and insulin pumps, these CGMs still only provide access to one piece of data, which is the current glucose level. And as important as this feature is, as helpful as this can be, there are other important metrics that need to be measured in diabetics. And one of those is ketones. So diabetics can develop something known as diabetic ketoacidosis or DKA. This is a serious condition that leads to hundreds of thousands of hospital visits each year. And it's caused by a buildup of acids in the bloodstream called ketones. Illness, injury, medication, and missed insulin doses can all potentially lead to DKA. And if this is not treated promptly, diabetic ketoacidosis can lead to coma and even death. So it's extremely important to be aware of elevated ketone levels in the body. And up until now, the most reliable method of measuring ketones at home was a bit of a process. You could use urine test strips to get an idea of your ketone levels. You could do a finger stick by using a blood ketone meter, but none of these were continuous. They all required extra steps plus extra supplies that you needed to buy. But Abbott is going to change all of that with their new CGM. They recently announced they're working on a first of its kind dual monitoring system that will not only continuously monitor glucose levels, but ketone levels as well. And the dual monitoring system will be the same size as the current Freestyle Libre 3 sensor, which we all know is the smallest, thinnest glucose sensor on the market. Continuous monitoring of ketones will be a breakthrough for diabetics because it will allow for early detection of rising ketone levels, giving these individuals a chance to intervene before full-blown DKA develops, which can not only prevent many hospitalizations, but in some cases potentially save lives. A device like this may also allow type 1 diabetics to be able to use a new medication that has for many years been inaccessible to type 1 diabetics. A medication that not only improves glucose levels, but also preserves kidney and cardiac function. This class of medication is known as SGLT2 inhibitors. This medication works by flushing excess glucose out through the kidneys and has been widely used in type 2 diabetics to improve glucose levels as well as slow the progression of kidney disease and improve cardiac function. And while type 1 diabetics could potentially have the same benefit from a medication like this, this medication class has been avoided in type 1 diabetes due to the fact it can cause something known as euglycemic DKA, which is diabetic ketoacidosis with a normal blood sugar. But using a device like this that can continuously monitor ketone levels and warn of impending DKA in the early stages may allow for broader and safer adoption of this medication class, allowing type 1 diabetics access to the same benefit as other individuals already use Using this medication. So a lot of promise with this new CGM from Abbott, and in addition to this new dual monitoring system, Abbott is also working on a whole new line of consumer biowearables known as Lingo. Lingo plans on using the current technology behind the Libre sensor to monitor other important metrics in the body to allow for better management of health, nutrition, and athletic performance. But in addition to monitoring glucose levels as well as ketones as we discussed today, there is a sensor in the works that can monitor lactate levels, which is important for athletes to monitor during exercise, as well as a sensor in the works that can continuously monitor alcohol levels. So very interesting. So this new line of consumer wearables is expected to launch sometime later this year in Europe, and a U.S. release will hopefully follow shortly after. As far as the dual glucose and ketone monitor as we discussed earlier, trials are expected to begin early this year and we'll hopefully hear about FDA and CE approval shortly after. Abbott also plans on making the dual monitoring system compatible with insulin pumps. So for those of you using a Tandem or Omnipod, you'll likely be able to use this new system alongside your insulin pump. So that is the new Libre system from Abbott. Please let me know in the comments what you think about it and thank you as always for watching the video.